Good day and welcome to another edition of uh, Jaguar E-Type, the original. This is uh, my very early car, the uh, fully unrestored um, December 61 E-Type. And uh, I changed the oil here and I just wanted to show you how that originally looks. There is a clamp in there, a spring clip, and I think you see that down there. This is to avoid that all your internals dropping down into the oil here and getting lost or fishing for them there's a seal there's there's a rubber seal in there you might see that there at the end of the uh, of, of the of the bolt and that needs to be replaced the filter needs to be replaced this is a green one and i've seen others but that is that looks very original and um, this is how they were the reason why I started to change the oil is I had the engine down there, you might see that. I had the engine all oiled up and I found that the um, that the camshaft cover, that the cam covers were not sealed good enough. You see here there is, there is, um, there is, um, yeah, you see oil between there is dropping down and pouring down all the way to the engine and i always had some oil drops on the floor i don't know if i can avoid that at all but uh, but this is um what i i wanted to eliminate and uh, just going to replace it and uh, while doing this i have also seen this the um here is the um the crank breezer pipe and uh, there I haven't seen that on other cars, but here you have two clamps which hold this one, this 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 pipe goes to the up here to the to the crank breather casing. And uh, later cars had an aluminium through so the 4.2 they had an aluminium here and, and earlier cars they had it upside down and a flexible aluminium hose, which is going to the other side. But but this is a late 61 car, all original. And these had a rubber hose going down here, angled. Then they had this, this, uh, oh, you see that here, this uh, breather pipe going along. And you see there, down here you see one clamp and just at the same stud behind is a second I'm trying to get some light in there yeah the, now you see that there's a second stud which holds the water pipe which you slowly which you just see beneath just below and and behind and that and that goes it's very hard to show us this yeah there's the um this goes to the water pump so there are two clamps on there very often one is missing and um, they are mounted at the same stud uh, the water house which is going all the way to the to the bulkhead is um, has another stud a shorter one which is mounted in the back in the back of here there's there's the other there's the other end of the hose and you just see a stud there the um i can't get there there's another clamp and uh, it's mounted on the second last stud on the bottom and that is where the where the water hose is uh, mounted to another thing i wanted to show is because there's always some discussions this green jet tank is um, so there's a label on here and this is all original in some forms they say some don't have it some have it I think if they don't have it it is um, it is uh, dropped down or got lost this is all original and you can see here's the blue the blue filler cap and this actually has a function and it says measure and this is actually to get to for the mixture uh, of water and antifreeze and cleaner so that has a function as well as another function i discovered which is the um, there's a label in the back and you see that here 
there's also been discussion about this label here if that was there or not and um, and you see this is an original you see it says uh, 761 this is the original part number so that is all original and no reproduction and a the black a the b and the c they actually do have a function and uh, you see the wires there's a black one there's a green and black and guess here's the green here's the complete green one i can't fix it now as uh, they are not long enough to um, to take it out and put it back in so i have to turn this again but now i know i can see it's very hard to see but i know the first the first one is the black the second is the um, green black and then we have the green one which goes on here and i hope it is working now so this is something very smart i think and i wonder why they haven't done that in all the other parts and um, yeah just for curiosity i wanted to show you this this is the um the relay and this one says there 261 there you see it's 261 that's a part number and try to zoom that in a bit more yeah 261 that's the original part number and interesting to see here also they have the black sleeves on the wires there these were usually black and um, yeah i tried to keep them all black as they are this must have been a time where there was a, a changeover because these are all original wires and cables but originally these were all black try to figure that out on your old car and let me know if your december or january 61 uh, january 62 car still has the black or uh, the transparent sleeves and um, so i hope uh, you, you you gained some information got something confirmed or um, if you have any questions you want to get confirmed or you want to know just uh, drop me a line and i will try to to sort things out many people have done that for me and uh, i'm thankful and just trying to give something back thank you very much and uh, see you next time bye bye